Hi everyone, this is Benny Lewis and I want to share with you my favourite tools and resources for language learning and how to use them. And today I'm going to get started with Anki on computers. Check it out. Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to set up Anki, which is my favourite flashcard system. So the first thing I would do is go to the Anki website, which is ankisrs.net. And on this site, you're going to see the various details about uh, how it works and an overview. But I would scroll down to the download option. So you have a Windows option, Mac, Linux, and then for smartphones. First, I want to show you how it would work on a computer. The installation process is explained here very, very straightforwardly for all of the different systems. It's like anything, you download the file and you install it as an executable. And when it's installed, you open it up and you should see an interface similar to this. The first time you install it, it asks you which language you want it to be in. So if you're an intermediate or higher speaker of the language then try to put it in that language if you're a beginner you can leave it in english if you prefer you'll be at an interface like this which has no decks in it no uh, sets of vocabulary that you can study so you're going to want to go and get one to do that you see there's uh, several different options here for changing the settings and so on and you can import the file if you've already downloaded it or create your own deck but to make things easier, I'm going to get a shared deck. So if I click get shared deck, then I'll see something like this, where I can choose the deck to download and open within the program. It's very straightforward. You see a list of the most popular languages, and if yours is not listed here, then search for it. So to give you an example, if I type in a language that I don't see in this list then I start to see various different options here uh, explaining the different vocabulary that you can learn from it but let's say you want to learn Spanish so there are quite a lot of options I would generally stick to the top ones since these are the most downloaded and highly rated uh, decks and essentially look at something that you think you might want to learn so do you want to learn verbs or do you want to learn the top vocabulary or do you want to learn something relevant to a category or a website where you would learn that um, that language and because this is completely free why not download several of them test them out one at a time and see which one you prefer so as an example i'm going to pick duolingo spanish you click info so when you're on this page you'll see lots of information and an example that you can see if this is what you're looking for so the front is the first thing that you'll see when you're presented with a flashcard and the back is the answer so here i would see el programa and i want to think to myself well what does that mean and then if I know it, I will think to myself, the answer is probably program or, or schedule. And I'll press the button to reveal the answer and see how that works. But let's see how this operates within the program. So you want to download the, um, the deck. And depending on your system, you could save the file and then save it in a directory. And within Anki, then go to file and import. Or what usually happens in a lot of systems is it associates this file type with Anki and it just opens it immediately. So that's what I'm going to try here. And as you can see, it has now been imported. So you can do this as many times as you like for as many different decks as you like, and they'll all be presented in this interface. One thing I usually like to do is change the options as they come up because by default I get 20 cards a day. If I'm going intensively into learn mode, I would generally go for 50 or more cards a day. 
and you can tweak all of these other things with uh, a single day interval an easy interval so when you see the different buttons if you press easy it pushes it for four days and you can play around with with all of this but essentially the only thing I would change is the number of new cards per day so let me put that as 50 okay and then you just click it and study now and this is all you have to think about is this interface here where you see what you're being tested on so in this case this deck is testing me on my comprehension of Spanish relevant to the Duolingo website so I see the term here preocuparse por and I think oh what does that mean what does that mean and then I think to myself oh that might be worry yourself about there it is to worry about so for me that was very easy so I'm gonna click easy and that means that I'm not gonna see the card again for four days and this is much better than going through a sequence of words that you would end up repeating over and over again even if you know them and that's the great thing about spaced repetition so I click easy and then here's another example me siento or sentir let's say I don't really know what this is and I guess it means um, to eat and I'm not even confident about that and I click show answer and it's to I feel emotionally so I think to myself yeah I did not know this word so I click again or good and that would mean it would show it to me within a few minutes and at that stage I'm starting to attack this forgetting curve and have the word reminded uh, much more frequently so I'll say again and you go through all of these answers one by one deciding how hard or easy you think it is and the great thing about this is it starts to show you your progress so the first number is the number of words remaining in this study session since I've already looked at three words that would mean there are 47 words left the next one is the number of words awaiting a review and uh, the final is the number of words from a previous session that are going to be added to this session and you just keep on going until you get to the end and that's your study session and then the next time you come in you get to start again by having new words added and the old ones reminded to you so you would have 50 new words as well as the ones from the previous session and that's why I would only do this in an intensive mode because 20 feels like a small number but you're actually the default of 20 but you're actually going to be taking those 20 as well as the ones that you're supposed to have added from the previous days so this it's a very very well structured system to help you learn words faster and you don't need a smartphone you can do this from anywhere you like and there's lots of other features of the program but this is the most important one for me so going back to decks another thing that you can do uh, other than use those public decks that I just showed you is you can create your own decks so let's say I wanted to create a deck for um, hard verbs in Spanish okay so uh, within this deck I go into it and I add some new vocabulary this is the manual way to do this I'll show you in another video how to do it for a long list of words because doing it this way for a long list would be way too much work but for just a short number of lists you would say okay let's say uh, contar tell and in this in this case I want to show no I don't want to know the translation I want to know the conjugation the different forms of the verb so I just pick that example and give the answer here and add that in and you just keep on repeating and you can do this very very quickly 
and keep on adding and adding and adding and when you're done you'll see how many new additions are in your deck and you can study this exactly as you would a pre-made deck and this is great because I prefer to make my own decks when I'm studying a language because generally there are words that are more relevant to me in my situation and as these come up I can take a note of them in my class or when I'm out using the language and when I'm back in Anki I can add them to a deck that already exists so I would add more and more to this deck every day or I can create a brand new deck but generally I like to keep it simple and have one big deck that I'm constantly adding more and more to so that is essentially it for the most important parts of the computer based version of Anki you can keep adding more here and you can play around with it there's lots of lots of features but everything I've just shown you is most of what I like to do when I'm using the computer based version of Anki I hope that has been clear if you have any questions let me know and I'll add to this explanation but in other videos I'm going to show you the smartphone version of Anki thank you very much Thank you.